Welcome to the Fresh Perspectives webcast. This season is focused on the key insights from the career pathways research, which was led by the ACE Emerging Professionals. And we'll be discussing the key influences of organizational barriers and interesting career transitions from the speakers faced in their careers. I'm Kat Brown, and today I'm with Mark Baroni, an experienced leader and mentor with many years of experience in the construction and built environment industry. And today we'll be discussing the topic of reverse mentoring. Welcome, Mark. Hey, Kat, thanks for having me today. Thank you for joining me today. So I'm interested to hear from your perspective of your experience of reverse mentoring, as I understand you've held a number of different um, mentoring experiences. So from your perspective, what have been the key benefits and the key things to take away from your previous reverse mentorship experiences? So I, th I think the key things to take away are one is that um, you get an insight into the different generations um, that, that are in the business. And, and those things actually help you understand, you know, how to, how to drive engagement, how to think about communication, those sorts of things. You also learn about what's important uh, to the different people and the different uh, types of people in the business. And, and finally, um, it becomes a bi-directional thing, but you get, you get the chance to, to, to coach and, and, and be mentored at the same time. And it's, it's a really fun experience. And I think, um, you were one of my reverse mentors, uh, and so with that, I think uh, the relationship that we got to build has actually lasted uh, beyond our time together at ACOM, and, and it creates a, a sort of network that you can have for a long time. So, so those are the things I see is really important from a reverse mentoring relationship. Yeah, no, that's great. I think just touching on your first point about the different generations' perspective, how did you find that when you maybe came up against a challenge at the board level or a senior position and you came across maybe a conflicting or a challenging idea or perspective from the reverse mentor, let's say, and and how did you go about listening and taking that on board and potentially uh, spreading that word and, and letting other people yeah. in the business know? I think the key thing is to is to have a very open mind as to what you're hearing and and listen a lot more than you speak in these reverse mentoring uh, relationships. And then use that in a way that uh, you can then translate it into the way that more senior executives might it might be able to resonate with them. You know, sort of things like how you think about um, the importance of pay in a in a in a crisis where people are uh, looked at, or what what's really important uh, to people. So um, what we found is, you know, when some of the discussions I've had with my reverse mentors, we talk about the purpose that that they want and that that the organization drives, and that becomes more important than other sorts of things. And then 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 using the experience that you've had to figure out how to translate that to get people to do something about it is what's really important. Uh, but um, it is, it's, it's those types of things that I think uh, really help, help make a change in an organization by understanding what, what's really important uh, from, from that reverse mentoring aspect. Mm, that's interesting. And I think looking at other sort of avenues that you could take in an organization, you know, listening forums or speaking to your line manager or creating sort of a group where you can, you know kind of people across the whole spectrum of the business have come together and and think about what advice they might give to more senior positions how would you say that reverse mentoring is different and maybe better or in some ways more challenging than the more traditional routes of providing feedback to senior members of the organization i think there's a bit of distance between a reverse mentor and, and the person that they're mentoring because sometimes when it's your line manager it gets very tough because it gets can be a kind of sensitive thing um, I think the the other thing is that you have to be open uh, to it uh, because some of the things that you hear are not what you expect to hear, um, and uh, and with that um, it becomes a, a it challenges your own perspectives that you have uh, about the business. But one of the most important things um, when when you're actually creating a reverse mentoring relationship is to make sure that you have some diversity. You don't you don't want someone that's like you. Um, to be your reverse mentor, you want someone that's you know very different, so that you're you're actually learning from a from a very different perspective, and 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 it's also the 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 other aspects of learning that comes from it, not not just the the comments that come in, but the the sort of you know the the views that uh, your reverse mentee, mentors um, might have about how they see their careers, how they see the world going, and those sorts of things. And that also brings a lot of insight to the way that you might want to make changes in a in a business. No, so it's a great point on diversity. And I think building on that, what advice would you give both to someone seeking out a reverse mentor and someone wanting to be reverse mentored? What are the maybe top three bits of advice you would give to that individual? I'd say it's it's a really positive experience. So so one, uh, you can embrace it quite easily. But um, as we said, make sure you, you take a, a diverse perspective uh, from that. Um, 
really listen to what um, your reverse mentor is saying to you and then demonstrate uh, to your reverse mentor that you, you've taken some action and done something about the, the things that have taken place. Because otherwise, if, if it's just a conversation, it doesn't lead anywhere. Um, these things become a little bit pointless. So I think the key thing with all these sort of conversations and mentoring relationships is the action that comes out of them and, and that shows you're, you're, you're making a difference as a leader in an organization. Yeah, I, I completely resonate with that. I think from my position, obviously, being a reverse mentor, um, I think it's interesting because a lot of the conversations I've had and that we've had has sort of been, um, you know, I say one sided or you've asked a question. I've I've spoken about my my experience, but at the same time, I've without even realizing it, I've learned so much from from being a reverse mentor and, and kind of being mentored as much as the title might be reverse mentored and you know, maybe HR businesses, uh, HR departments and businesses might have a program of a reverse mentorship scheme where people can sign up and be appointed to someone and be, you know, kind of in a formal sense, reverse mentor. I think you can kind of pick up informal relationships and have that reverse mentoring across many different avenues. And, and, and what you take from it, I think, as a reverse mentor is is still being mentored. So I really think it's an interesting dynamic by which even though you would ask me questions or I would learn so much from the kind of experience that you're able to provide for me and um yeah i think my advice um for for anyone looking is make sure that you kind of have that um that relationship built on a form of initial sort of trust and and, and, an, and an understanding a shared understanding of what you want to get out of it and i think um being okay to say actually this might be not the right match for us maybe we think too similarly or maybe we are too close in 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 one sense of um, the kind of work that we do or maybe you know timing as well I think I, I really believe that if you want to get a lot of benefit out of this you need to make sure you put, uh, put aside the time and and I think you know being someone quite senior in an organization maybe this is a question back to you Mark how did you find it trying to carve half an hour an hour out of your diary both for those virtual and in-person meetings is it is, is it difficult? No, I, I think um you know, the nice thing about being fairly senior in an organization, you can have control of your diary. And if you think it's important, you make time for something. Um, and I think understanding, you know, the the reverse venture in relationships isn't, isn't just a one to one thing. It helps you it helps you expand and, and understand the broader aspects uh, of the business. So so these things are important uh, because if as a leader, um, if one of your key things about it is, is really about driving engagement, uh, then then you need to make time to understand what the key aspects of that. and the reverse mentoring um, uh, relationship helps helps provide that. And I agree with uh, a lot of the things that you've just said. The, the other important thing is, you know, it really does need to be based on trust and and it needs to it needs to be, um, you know, there's there needs to be a sort of mutual sort of confidence in each other um, around, uh, you know, how how you use the information that you discuss. Um, because you do you you do end up talking about some some very sensitive things um, when you have when you have these conversations, but uh, you know what I'd say to anyone is embrace it. You'll learn a lot and you'll get some insights that you probably won't get in any other way. No, that's that's a an interesting way to to sort of close that that part part of the discussion, Mark. And I think just finally before we we run out of time, I'm I'm interested to hear what your view is on individuals seeking reverse mentorship experiences outside of their organization obviously the majority of this conversation has been in line with looking internally of your own, own organization but yeah. have you ever experienced it and, and what would you say to those looking outside of an organization i i've not experienced it but i say the best way to do it is probably through industry bodies um and uh because you can have some like-minded people because because one of the things is you do want to you do want to be able to talk about subjects that that you know uh, that you both share a common interest in and you have a passion on um and then you can take those things and figure out what the different perspectives are so so probably um you know entities like this um or seek out some people that uh, that you might find on linkedin I've had some people contact me via, via LinkedIn and ask to be mentored that I didn't even know, and it's it's it seems a bit odd to try to to try to do that. Um, you want to you want to have some sort of relationship, um, as you say that that introduction is is really important. Uh, but mm -hmm. the industry bodies um, and that networking that you do is is probably one of the best ways uh, to 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 make contact and and start a relationship or a reverse mentoring relationship outside of outside of your own organization.